So after I've entered my initial information for No Red Ink, I'm going to go through and if I activate it with a Google account, it's going to need a little bit more information. Right here, you got a two-minute tour of No Red Ink. I'd really suggest watching it, but if you're just committed to playing around and figuring out what happens, we can click No Thanks. I'll watch it later. And then we're going to set up the first class. I would recommend setting up one class at a time, not lumping all your preps together as one single class. For example, my first year using this, I tried to just make language arts and make all my classes part of my language arts class, um, which means that I had a 120 student class. Data access became really tedious, uh, didn't work very well on the site. And um, the advantage is you can search for students easily. The disadvantage is it just isn't how the site was programmed to work. And it works way better if you set up one period at a time. So for example, I might say language arts period two. And then I'm an eighth grade teacher, so I'd click eighth grade right here, and then I'll create a class. So I can add school info. Um, if I add school info, what that does is link my school to No Red Ink, and that helps people find my No Red Ink class. So that's a great thing to do. They have some other ideas about what you might do. You might create a first diagnostic or a pretest in the assignment page. But what I'm going to jump into right away is how to add students to your class, because to me, that's where I kind of my head goes. So I want to get my students set up, and then I'll work on creating assessments afterwards. Um, so I'm going to go through the Manage Students way. There are some other ways you can get students in your class. But if you click Manage Students, you kind of have two choices. Um, you can either add students manually, which when you do this, you could do one at a time. For example, I might do Test Student right here, and then hit Save. And then the student's added to the course, and it gives them a username, and it gives them a password that's by default, which is absolutely fine. It's a little bit of uh, work on the teacher's part that I would prefer to stay away from if it were me. So instead, what I would do, I would go back to the course page right here. And for each course you create, there's a course code. Well, thing tells you right there is a little tutorial for your students on how to do a student sign up. Essentially, students go and create their own account on No Red Ink, and then they enter a class code when they sign up. What that does is it automatically enrolls the student in your account. And to me, one of the best features that No Red Ink has programmed in here is that when a student enrolls on No Red Ink and then uses a course code to join your class, you then have access to reset your student's password. Because in my experience, students tend to lose passwords if they're not going through a single sign-on such as Clever or Google. So if students are just going and creating a username and a password, them being part of your class, you can reset their password. It's great. In the next tutorial I do, I'll show how students would go about setting themselves up to be part of your class.